The Fairbanks North Star Borough School District has around 40 children who need hearing assistance or wear hearing aids. University Park Elementary is considered to be one of the most deaf-friendly schools in the district, teaching seven of those children. Sarah Dubowski has more. A deaf or hard of hearing student can have any range of audio loss from just needing a hearing aid to requiring a sign language interpreter. University Park Elementary offers a resource room and staff dedicated to interpreting and teaching sign language. This is considered the deaf friendly school here and so we have a, um, a teacher of the deaf here who works um, with these students individually. All of the students that we have here are mainstreamed into a regular education classroom and so they use an interpreter which is my role um, and I will come into the classroom and interpret whatever the teacher says and with their peers. For students hard of hearing each class is equipped with a microphone that the teacher wears which transmits his or her voice to the deaf or hard of hearing students special hearing aid. The deaf education teacher Peggy Dargan says traditional hearing aids can be distracting in the classroom. When you wear a hearing aid this, the noise is out in the hallway the noises um, you know, of, of the, a fan, the noises of her making that tea water over there, they're all just as loud as the teacher's noise. They're all competing noises. And if you have a hearing loss and wear hearing aids, you can't focus on the sound that you want to be hearing. You can't focus on the teacher. Um, so by providing them a direct link to the teacher, then they're able to get the teacher's voice to stand out among all the other sounds. For young students, not being able to hear well can be very isolating. By grouping students together in the same school, being deaf no longer feels so lonely. The ASL specialist Marianne Carey says when she first met peers that shared her same ability, it was a turning point in her life. So about my sophomore year in high school, I started to meet other deaf people. And my life changed dramatically outside of school. It was amazing and inspirational for me to learn ASL and to hang around with deaf people. And I really found out who I was. I found my identity. I was deaf, and that was okay. And that amazing experience made me realize that when I met other deaf people, I was equal. And I had support, and that was such an important point in my 